Welcome to CPS 360. I'm Emma Higgins. Our first story is about a cool experience at the Career Center. Abby has the story. Every year in January, the Columbia Area Career Center holds a showcase to recruit both incoming ninth graders and current high schoolers to their classes. The showcase gives students and parents the opportunity to walk around the Career Center, visit classes, and learn what each class has to offer. I wanted to come here to learn more about the classes I can take as a freshman because I know that I can't take all of them. I think that the showcase can help with recruitment because it gets students in and gets their hands on some of the things that they will do in some of the classes, but it also gives parents um, a better view of what kind of opportunities their students could have here. Teachers and current students offer information, demonstrations, and treats to students and parents so students can learn what a class is about and what they will get out of the class. I remember I first learned of the class while going to an event similar to this in the eighth grade. So I think it really does, it really does come to your mind and think. I do. I think it did really give me a good perspective about what classes I wanted to take. Some classes offer some hands-on activities and games to get students interested, and teachers also hope to tell students what they will walk away with at the end of the year. Ethics, integrity, critical thinking, scientific approach, and a profound understanding of medicine and how to apply our intellectual tools to make people's lives better. The Career Center Showcase is a unique opportunity that gives members of the community a chance to get a hands-on opportunity to learn what classes they can take next year and what they can walk away from with it. Thanks, Abby. Next, we have an insider to the Rockbridge art class. Michaela tells the story. At Rockbridge, there are many different classes available for students to take, one of the more popular being Art One Foundations, though students take the class for many different reasons. Yeah. Uh, just to get my fine art credit out of the way. <laughs> While many students take the class just to get their required fine art credit, some, like Ainsley Benson, see it as more than that. I took art because I thought it would be kind of fun just to like learn how to like draw and like work with clay and stuff. The class itself offers multiple projects and drawing styles, some of which are more appealing to certain students than others. This is probably like in my top three. I don't know, this one just sounds more fun than the rest of them. The rest of them were all shading and I don't like shading, just using a pencil. So this is different, so I like it. Because you just get to draw whatever you want and in the old other ones, you would tell us like what you have to draw and like what, how they have to, what they have to be like, or, and then shade them. And this one, you just draw whatever you want and put it all together, and that's it. With students who work hard and the overall joyful environment of the school, teachers are able to enjoy their jobs while still helping students. Well, I th at Rockbridge specifically, because it's a, we have a really good art department. Um, four or five teachers actually who all have kind of their own specialty so it's kind of a um, high quality program I'd say for the high school level yeah. um, and I like the atmosphere of the school too the whole it's it feels uh, a bit more relaxed than other places where I've talked before the Rockbridge art program makes it easy to work with students and get the best out of the job I'm Michaela Morganson reporting for CPS 360 what a great story, Michaela. Recently, I checked out what the Battle baseball team does off-season. While Battle High School's baseball team is off-season, they still do workouts after school. This workout consisted of a Mizzou personal trainer coming and giving them a workout. Sarah and Amai visited the orchestra class. The warm stage lights illuminate the musicians as their instruments rise in a nostalgic harmony. Students are practicing their instruments in anticipation for their upcoming concert. So it was me starting out with cello in fourth grade and I took a break. I didn't take a break, but I wanted to do band in middle school so that I didn't have to be held back, I guess, by doing orchestra in middle school. and. I wanted to do orchestra in high school because I had already learned cello for a number of years and it sounded fun. I could also get my fine arts credit from it. It's something that I've been more accustomed to, playing piano in the past and 
doing cello um, really sparked my interest in classical music and from doing band in middle school I realized that the contemporary music that we played there wasn't really my thing. I plan on doing orchestra for all the years that I'm at Rockbridge, which gives me the safe haven of people that I already know, especially for the teacher. And it's a fun class for me because it's music that I get to play and that I enjoy. Um, orchestra really builds um, like a work ethic and time management, just like any other music thing. So I started orchestra like a long time ago, back when I was like in third grade. And then I basically just like kept going on from there. I just never stopped. So orchestra like allowed me to, I guess, like build close friendships. Cause like with choir and like band, there's like a lot more people. So it's, I guess it's harder to like build those intimate bonds. So, you know, orchestra was an outlet for me to help, you know, build these friendships. So I'm a senior and I, I definitely want to hope to continue it in college. And um, even after college, I still want to play in an orchestra. Um, I think leadership is the biggest one, probably. Um, especially since I've been, like, you know, the concert master and I've been in this leadership position. So uh, leadership is definitely the biggest part that I'm going to take away. Orchestra class can teach some really helpful skills. So not only does it teach musical skills, but also a good work ethic. Students are presented with a variety of musical outlets starting at a young age. Common options include choir, band, and orchestra. Students explain what makes orchestras stand out. Orchestra is a pretty chill environment and we don't have any rehearsal time out of school or it's just in the class and we'll have time to, she'll give us a break because playing the violin for an hour and a half is not easy. People in the fine arts community at Rockbridge are nice to hang out with and be around because they push themselves hard to excel in their art. I've been involved with orchestra since I was in eighth grade. Um, that was the first year I joined orchestra. And then it took me a couple years to really get to where I enjoyed it. Um, we played a piece of music that I loved and I kind of fell in love with orchestra and I kind of wanted to stay involved with orchestra ever since then. As the conductor's hands fold into a fist, the music fades to silence. And as class draws to a close, students pack up. Orchestra cultivates an amazing community and together they create a beautiful piece of art. Thanks for that lovely story. Do you rock climb in your free time? Here's a story about high school rock climbers. Rock climbing is a very popular and intensive sport. Approximately 1,500 people try the sport for the first time every day. In total, there are 25 million people around the world who rock climb regularly. Parker Boone is one of those 25 million. I've rock climbed for a little over a year going on two years. At Christmas of 14 years old, my aunt gave me a monthly membership here and I was hooked after that. I've known Parker ever since I started climbing, so about like a year, a little less than a year. Parker's a good climber just because he has really good flexibility and strength. I mean, he's probably my main like climbing partner. Uh, we have different strengths. He's good on like specific types of holds. You know, I've got, I'm good at like smaller holds, but you know, Parker's just a good all-around climber. Good sloper. He's good, you know, finger strength in general. So he's really creative, really, really creative. A lot of his routes have really difficult moves that, like, as soon as someone sees route, they're like, I bet Parker's on that route. There are many rock climbing competitions around the world. The contest is split into three main sections, speed, lead, and bouldering. 
Parker participated in a bouldering competition, placing fifth out of 100 people. This was at Chesterfield, uh, where ev you have just a bunch of routes set, and they're worth a set amount of points, and you try to do as many as you can, and your top five uh, are what places you. I absolutely would recommend climbing to other people just because uh, it's just a great sport. It's super like low key. Um, it's it's really chill. Everyone's like really good community and um, just really fun as well. It's a good way to get exercise in. I recommend getting into climbing as much as you possibly can. It's just it's honestly one of the best experiences that I've had athletically, and the community of climbing is just it's they're so friendly. Like even when you go to competitions, other teams that aren't supposed to be friendly towards you, they'll share beta and they'll help you out with the routes. It's, it's just really fun. I'm Hallie Paulus and this is CPS 360 News. Thanks Hallie, now I want to go rock climbing. Here's an insider on Darkroom Records at Battle High School. Each day Darkroom Records is open to high school students from Battle, Hickman, and Rockbridge. The recording studio at Battle has been open for four years now. Darkroom Records is a great way for students to learn about music. We are planning a spring fundraiser, which is going to be an opportunity for students to, to come and support Darkroom Records and see some of their uh, peers play some music. And then at the end of the semester, we're going to have an album showcase. So sometime in late April, um, we're planning on having a big CD release, album release party. As students write their schedule for the upcoming year, Rockbridge has a course fair to show you all their different classes. Regan has the story. Every year at Rockbridge High School in Columbia, Missouri, parents bring their kids to the school for the annual course fair. Although the majority of the kids are 8th graders right now, there were some freshmen too. They come to walk around and receive information about classes they might possibly take. They are free to ask questions about mandatory classes, career center classes, and even clubs. Caden Schnacki, a freshman, is taking an interesting class this year at Rockbridge. Art. Because... Well, we, I just get to like take a break from learning and just draw. Hudson, an 8th grader, is also planning to take some interesting classes. Yeah, I'm looking to take a lot of career center classes throughout my four years at Rockbridge, probably broadcasting and digital media. Josh has other things in mind along with academics. Probably the sports and just... Honestly... I'm just, I'm a sports person, so I don't like, um, learn, learning that much, <laughs> but, um, I like, uh, like physics and stuff, and maybe the, uh, like, during sophomore year, I could take, uh, the civics and, uh, architecture, something like that, and then, uh, just, Maybe, uh, like, culinary, too. I asked another 8th grader, Drew, what he benefited the most from the course fair tonight. Um, I think that I learned a lot about the classes that I can take and that it was actually uh, much more simple than I thought it would be. Overall, the course fair provided opportunities for students to get a head start on their next year at high school. I'm Regan Beth Bullock with CPS 360 News. Nice story, Regan. That's it for this episode of CPS 360. I'm Emma Higgins, and thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time.